I'm going to show you how to link pivot charts from pivot tables with one slicer on a sheet. So what I have here is I have my data and it, when we go to sheet 2 I have um, created a pivot table. What I'm doing is the, the, type, the type and then I'm saying the sales date and this is the total of all the sales dates. So now if I want to make make a chart, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, pivot table analyze and I'm going to go to pivot chart and this one looks looks good so I'm going to select that one okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this move chart and I've made a sheet called dashboard I'm going to drop down the list arrow here and I'm going to move it to dashboard okay and so I'll say OK and there it is on my dashboard now um, let's go to uh, sheet 3 and I have um, basically I've totaled up all of the categories of the data here and so I'd like to make another chart on here and so what I'd like I'm going to go to pivot table analyze and I'm going to go pivot chart and this time I think I'm going to do a pie chart and I think I'll do three-dimensional because those look nice and I'll go OK and now once again I'm going to um, move this chart and um, I'm going to drop, drop down the list arrow and I'm going to move it to the dashboard say OK OK so now we have um, let me close some of this so you can see it. I have my two charts, one's on top of each other, on the dashboard, and I will put it here so you can see both of them. And now, so if I put in a slicer, and what I'm going to put a slicer in for is I'm going to put a slicer by the sales person. So what I'm going to do is go um, click on Insert Slicer, and then I'm going to go Salesperson. And I'm going to say OK. And now let me pull this over here. OK, so let's see in this period what Jan did. And there you can see the, the totals are for Jan. And then you can go uh, Terry and uh, this other gentleman and Larry and John. And then you could go. Um, now, this is very interesting, but the other one isn't changing. We'd like them both to change. So when we have our table selected here, our, our, our slicer selected, what we're going to do is we're going up on the menu bar and we're going to report connections. And right now this is linked to pivot table 3. So now we want it to link to pivot table 2 as well. So then we go OK. So now let's go again and let's go Jan. And you can see that the, the values in both chart change with the slicer. So that is how you link two charts from a pivot table to one slicer. Please subscribe.